Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this, the final Saturday of April. It's hard to believe that in less than a month, I'll be another year older and uh, deeper in debt. But, uh, you know, when you when you get to my age, you always celebrate birthdays uh, because they are milestones in history. You know, I always read in the paper every morning. They have a little a thing over there that says in the commercial appeal, today's birthdays. And I don't know, but but I was really blown up. Bobby Rydell is 76. Now, I used to listen to him back on the American Bandstand, so that ages me right now. You know, Carol Burnett is 85. Do, do, do you? Uh, it sounds about right. Yeah, well, it does sound right to you because you're a whippersnapper. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know any of those folks. Uh, you don't know. They're, they're, no, they're their best. Ron Wong over there. Huh? Good to see Ron here on Full Set. Hey, Ron, good to have you here. And also, Always uh, great to be here. And um, Bill Cooksey back from Morriston, D.C., from the Vanishing Paradise, and we talked to Bill. And Bill is here on the fourth Saturday, too. Mm-hmm. But uh, we got a special guest right now, High Seasonings. High Mountain Seasonings has been great to Outdoors with Larry Ray over the years, as I was telling our next guest, and um, appreciate the support. But uh, they've hit the jackpot now, according to me. You know, uh, right. I, am, I am ready to head to the woods anytime. I know what to put in my bag. <laughs> you know, it was kind of hard to sprinkle that over a what, piece of cracker. What you know, would that be? Oh, what do you think? Jerky. You know, do I not like jerky? You know, uh, uh, yeah. Well, I, you know, my I name is Larry you, Jerky I, Ray. I, I wish <laughs> you had some samples. Uh, well, for us. Yeah, we'll, I'll get you some someday, you know. But uh, <laughs> hey, we got Brian Tucker on the line right from Rivington, uh, Wyoming, where he said one day last week it was like seventy something, the next day it was forty two and snowing. So uh, it's good to talk to somebody from Wyoming. Uh, good morning, Brian. Good morning, guys. How we doing? Oh, we're always wired on this show, Brian. You never know what you might expect. But uh, <laughs> tell our, you know, tell our listeners a, a little bit about uh, high high mountain seasonings. Well, we started in 1991, kind uh-huh. of the idea of making jerky, kind of like we were talking about. started with our original jerky kit, and that same kit is still the number one seller to this day. And we're pushing 200-some products. Um, started with seasoning. Now we're uh, a seasoning company, and we also make jerky. So doing well, branching out and growing every year. There he hit the milestone there. He said they're making jerky. Let's talk about that now. Uh, you guys... Uh uh, seasoning has been at the at the heart of your business, but jerky is. Let's talk about how you evolved into now having. What do you got? Four different. Uh, wh- four different flavors. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Right. Um, we've had a calling for a while from our customers. I mean, it's been a natural fit. You know, we make the seasoning and the kits to make the jerky, among with other products, and it's just gone hand in hand. You know, we've supplied seasoning to various jerky makers out there for years yes you have yeah and, yep. so, and so now so the f- uh, <laughs> go ahead yeah we've toyed with the idea for a while on uh making a facility to do it you know there's a lot of red tape a lot of federal involvement and so we finally decided about two years ago we're going to do this you know we're to the point we're ready to do so we have the facilities to do it or the space i should say and built a facility to uh-huh. and make it so we opened up here about the beginning of this year uh, and started cranking out jerky in four flavors. The original, mesquite, hickory, and pepper, just kind of getting our feet wet. And, yeah, like I said, customers called for it. We answered that. It took us about two years to figure everything out from the design phase to the groundbreaking to the construction of the facility, getting a team in place, getting the right person in place to run it. And now we're cranking it out, and you're going to be able to see it all across America here real soon. Well, Mesquite, I, y'all, I, I know I don't have it with me, but let me just describe what it tastes like, okay? <laughs> uh, the mesquite just melts in your mouth. You know, it, it fits perfectly in my turkey pouch, you uh-huh, know, and it fits uh-huh. perfectly in my stomach. Oh, right. by the, right. oh, by the way, we okay. are going fishing Monday afternoon. Not bad so, in a boat, then. Um, if I can find it, I'll bring a package to you, you know. I mean, uh, you mean if you can find well, it. Well, I've been giving it out to the neighbors, you know. I'm the, I'm the uh, jerky wait, wait, man, wait, wait, you Wait know? a minute. What about your wonderful co-host, like Bill? I mean, he's slobbering <laughs> on the... He's slobbering all over the microphone get, right get, now. Get me out of this, Brian. I mean, I, I know. <laughs> it's breakfast time, and people are already hungry for jerky before lunch. You're doing uh, pretty exactly good there right. for us. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. You know, jerky, let's let's talk a little bit about that, because a lot of folks make. You make jerky, Bill? I've made jerky. 
I have major. You have. Major. I won't say I make it, but I have made it. Well, I got some folks who make it, and you know, and they go to all this trouble, mm-hmm. you know. And I tell them, hey, I don't have to, you know, why just go ahead and get in a package of it. It's already it's ready to roll. Uh, yeah, and, right. And and the mesquite, uh, the four different flavors. Tell us, uh, I'd like to bend in on this. I mean, do you have do you have jerky testers? I mean, I mean tasters. I You're mean, talking yeah. to them. Okay, all right. So, uh, so somebody's got a quality. Somebody's got to be that, and and Brian. I mean, it's across the bear, but I'll be happy. (laughs) (laughs) So tell tell us how do you came up with those four flavors now? Because I mean, now uh, you know, uh, as Ron and these guys know, uh, if I did anything else, I would like to be the guy that uh, that names the the fishing baits. You know, I just think those are cool. Or the colors. Or the colors. Really, the colors. Or the names. Or the names, you know. But uh, you guys have come up with this, so why four? Well, it's just as a start, because we don't want to jump in with every single flavor we offer or even ten flavors we offer. We want to make sure it gets going, and we don't want to... You know, put the cart before the horse, to say. Well, you so. got your seasonings. How many seasons do you have? Oh, uh, we offer almost 200 different products. <laughs> that's wow. right. Wow, yeah. that's cool. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> we want to make sure we hit those key flavors that you already see out there for sale before we branch out into anything else, just to make sure we establish, we continue to grow and develop that customer base some more. It's something people are familiar with as well before we came out with, say, you know, Hunter's Blend. It's a great flavor of ours in the cellar. Yes, it is. Part yeah. of it. Yeah. But people aren't going to know what a Hunter's Blend is just yet. Yes. Like if in the pre-made jerky. So let's get established with these four, you know, kind of typical flavors that you see out there before we continue on a little bit farther, which we plan to do in the future. We just want to make sure. Well, these are great. Start here and, you know, not not overdo it and then end up having some problems. Well, you're a long way ahead of Jeremiah Johnson. Okay, I mean, uh, I mean, when you think of jerky, you think of movies, and the folks, uh, folks out there that uh, don't really understand what jerky is, uh, what are they talking about? I mean, they're talking about jerky. I mean, uh, describe to somebody who doesn't know what jerky is. What is it? Well, it's a product that's not only dried, but it's also, I mean, we do cook it for safety purposes, but it's a dried meat product. It is. In I mean, allows it to have some extended shelf life or, um, like, say, you, you brought up Jeremiah Johnson back in those days. Um, I'm not even sure if you did this when you first started, Larry, but I'm, I'm kidding. But uh, I did. Just, uh, just move on, though, okay? Me and Jeremiah, <laughs> uh, we, we went to school they together. Had the, uh, yeah. <laughs> they had to have a way to preserve the meat you yeah. know, for longer periods of time and take it with them. And uh-huh. that's kind of where jerky came about. So it's the dry product because you know, a lot of people – are coming to realize that moisture is what allows bacteria and mold to grow. So if you can keep that out of it, like a jerky product that's dried, Yeah, I mean, it, it does add in some preserving agents to it, which obviously there's other things that come into play for well, safety standards yeah, and people, sure. nowadays. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, people that uh, you wouldn't think would be jerky eaters and now jerky eaters. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know any of those. You don't know any of them? I don't know any non-jerky well, there, people. There are some people that you would be surprised that eat jerky because some people have the uh, idea that jerky is only eaten by uh, hunters and people mm-hmm. like this that go into the woods. Uh, I got some right. friends that eat this that uh, would never step into a, a duck blind or a deer blind, mm. but they'll go buy jerky because they love oh, the flavor of it, yeah. and, and and you'll think, well, there's not much in that package. You try, it'll last a long time. <laughs> it's, there's more in there than what it says it is. Right. And so, uh, again, again, we're talking to Brian. Right, well, it's, yeah, you know, right, we're talking jerky to Brian is about Tucker. 40%, yeah. Jerky's about 40%, oh, okay. I, I, I would, it's about 40% of what it was at raw, and so that's generally where the weight content gets to. So, you know, so you have a... Um, Ten pounds of, of raw meat, it'll uh-huh. produce about four pounds of finished jerky. Wow! Okay. And y- y'all do it all right there in Riverton. Uh, we do. We have four buildings on site here, so we have our sales offices with a production building on the back end of it, uh-huh. and then another standalone production with a jerky facility behind it, and then our shipping facility behind that. So we're we're growing. We're big. I mean, I've been here five years, and we've already put up two facilities in the time that I've been here. So. Wow, in five years. Wow. And, and Riverton is located, for our folks that don't know geography, uh, is it's in, I know it's in Wyoming, but where where are you located primarily? We are 
dead center of the state. One of the best that's ways to I describe thought. a river yeah. is make an X, and where those lines cross in the state of Wyoming, that's pretty much Riverton. Well, they need, to, they need to move the capital out of the corner down there and put it in the middle of the state <laughs> up there, you know? <laughs> It'd be a little bit easier to find. It'll be yeah. a lot easier to find. Again, we're talking to Brian Tucker uh, from uh, High Mountain Seasoning. You guys have been how long in business? You know, Brian? Uh, this is 27 years. Wow. Started, 1991. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And I know the seasonings part of it was so many. What's the most popular one y'all sell? The original. The one that started uh, the company 27 years ago is still the number one by far. The yeah. original. You know, that's what uh, most things are still the most popular, but to stay in business that long. and uh, Right. Uh, the jerky business, though, is very competitive, right? It is. It is. I mean, there's so many names out there. There's a lot of companies that are doing it, but we have a leg up because we can supply our own seasoning, obviously, so we can cut yeah. costs there. Yeah. We're all USA products that way. We don't import the beef like some of those big guys do from Australia or New Zealand. Ours is right here in the good old USA. So. And and you're, um, you guys don't run through the woods chasing people off either. So, you know, I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we're looking to chase him off. We uh, no, better watch out high yeah. mountains after him. So. Oh, did you hear that? The challenge he Throwing the challenge down right here on the t- radio. Hey, Brian, thank you again, and keep that jerky coming. Tell Karen that you know a little bitty samples. Uh, you know we got to we, we eat a lot down here. You know, you need so. more than a little bit of the samples. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We appreciate you taking time on this Saturday morning. We'll stay in touch. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Certainly, guys. Thank you have you. a good one. I'm going to go hit the water. Oh, right. oh, there he goes. Okay, all right. Let's take a break on outdoors with Larry Ray. Come back. Uh, I love. You know, I love redneck blinds, you know, not only just because of the name of it, but uh, uh, they're pretty cool looking if you look at their their lines. Mm-hmm. Of, uh, and, and you'll think they came out of a little town in, in southeast, the southwest Missouri. We're going to talk about redneck blinds coming up next on Outdoors Larry Ray. Mm-hmm. 